Infinity Files on this Friday morning. We got a humdinger for you this morning. Apparently, President Putin told President Trump that he would allow special counsel Robert Mueller's team to question two dozen Russians who've been charged with interfering in the 2016 presidential election. Yes, involving three these three people right here. In return, Putin wants to let the U.S. allow the Russian secret police, basically the modern-day KGB, to interrogate who he calls fugitives living on American soil. So if you're following at home right now, yes, the Russians are offering to help out with our investigation into the Russians. It is a tangled web we weave. After four days, the president finally rejected that plan. But who are these 11 supposed American fugitives that Putin wants to get his hands on? Well, the first is this guy right here, Michael McFaul, a former U.S. ambassador to Russia under President Obama. He supported something called the Magnitsky Act, named after this guy right here, Sergei Magnitsky, who uncovered massive corruption in the Russian government and died in a Russian prison in what many think was murder. But the Magnitsky Act has cost Vladimir Putin and all of his cronies in Russia billions of dollars since 2012. Another, this guy right here, Bill Browder, he's a friend of Magnitsky who lobbied the government to sign that bill in the law. Putin also wants to interrogate, get this, the 26-year-old staffer who wrote the Magnitsky Act. We don't have his name, but we do know he was just a young kid working in a congressional office. This whole thing sounded like something out of a Jason Bourne movie, but the good news is President Trump will not be giving up any former American diplomats to the Russian government or businessmen, so that is a positive in return for the Russians helping to investigate themselves. How weird.